Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to spoof your Android device in order to be able to install incompatible applications from the Google Play Store. Now this is quite rare but it still happens especially on high-end devices. It is either caused by country limitations or, my, or mistakes. Anyways, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can spoof your Android device into another device in order to install an application. Uh, this method requires root by the way so you need to root your phone in order to use this. And no, we're not going to be editing the build prop file, we're actually going to be using an application called market helper now this app is not available in the google play store so you have to download it from the link in the description once you have downloaded the application you need to start it so run the app and this is what you should see now so by default you have restore restore set of settings here you need to change all of these things now so let's start off with the first option which is what kind of device you want to use so i'm going to change to phone and uh, from the list here we have LG Nexus 4, HTC One X Plus or the Samsung Galaxy S3. So for example I'm going to be using the LG Nexus 4 and if you want you can also change the operator. So first of all you can choose the country so I'm going to use for example United States and I'm just going to use AT&T. So this is the Gmail account to which I want to activate this service on and uh, once everything is ready you basically just need to tap on activate at this point you get a super user access pop-up so just grant it like this be patient and it should activate it and there we go it, it has activated successfully now the last step which you need to perform is you need to head into the google dashboard the link is provided here just tap on it and uh, it will walk you on now walking with the account by the way if it's not automatically walked on and uh, there we go as you can see i'm currently in the dashboard and the changes should have been applied now this may take a few minutes so be patient and from time to time check your google play store profile your google profile sorry um, and check if you have the device which you have selected here as the install to option and by that i mean to check if your new device is available on the list this list is visible if you tap on the install button obviously it will list all of your devices which are linked to this particular google profile and uh, let me just scroll down a bit and as you can see i have the lg nexus 5, 4 here it definitely works as you can see there is even the icon and it says at&t lg nexus 4 so yeah it's all good as you can see now i'm going to select this uh, device here i'm going to do a test i'm going to choose install and i'm going to see if the application will come to my device so and there we go guys as you can see it is downloading everything is working just fine we have just successfully spoofed our android device to something else so that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please hit the like button if you have subscribed already please do so once again thank you for watching everyone and i'll see you next time goodbye